to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Chef Pam and we're getting ready to make an amazingly fluffy, delicious, cheesy cheese omelet. Yes, I said cheesy cheese. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely amazingly delicious and it's also customizable too. So that's an extra bonus on that uh, recipe. Okay guys, if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. All right, we are back and the ingredients are simple and easy but powerful. Starting off with the star of the dish, we have two stars of the dish. We have, we have our eggs. We have our eggs and we have our cheese. Now today, I am using five different cheese. I'm using, and I don't have one of them out here, but I'm using some mild cheddar cheese. I'm using some mozzarella cheese. I'm using some Swiss and Gruyere cheese, and I'm also using provolone. Yes, all five of them are going in here. Customizable, as I said in the beginning, you can use any cheese that you want. And if you want to add a little something, something extra into it, like maybe spinach or something, you can do that too. So yes, you can customize it. Now, to make the eggs nice and fluffy, even in an omelet, you need to add a little some type of liquid. A lot of people use milk in their eggs, but me, for taste and I just like the way they turn out I use the liquid from pickled jalapeno slices you can get these in the store in any grocery store and or you can make your own but these are just jalapeno slices and I'll be using a spoonful of the liquid from these it gives an amazing taste and it makes them nice and fluffy uh, I like to put a few seasonings in I got some Himalayan salt garlic powder and a little parsley for uh, garnish which again is optional. You'll also need a little olive oil and a little butter for actually making the omelet. So I do not have a shredded cheese today everything but the Swiss and Gruyere everything else is in slices so we're going to go ahead and slice that up and then you guys will be able to meet me at the stove. So I said I was going to use five cheeses uh, including provolone, but as I went to get it, that's probably why I didn't have it out here the first time, I don't have any more. So we're going to skip the provolone and we're using mozzarella, Swiss Gruyere cheese, Swiss and Gruyere, as well as some cheddar. Now, if you do not have shredded cheese, you can just simply do what I am doing. It's all going to melt, so it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. We are just chopping this up. It'll make it melt a little bit faster. So give uh, all of your sliced cheese, if that's what you're using, chop it up really good. You can also use a grater. If you have some block cheese or something like that, just grate it. ahead and beat your eggs and let them sit at room temperature if they are not already room temperature eggs you want to let them sit at room temperature for about five minutes before you go ahead and make your omelet and I am using three eggs like I said I will have all the measurements and things in the description now if you want to add a little Himalayan salt and garlic powder to yours, you go right ahead, put in the ingredients that you want. I do not like to add black pepper until the very end. It actually changes the entire texture of your eggs. So if you ever wonder maybe why your eggs aren't as fluffy or whatever, that black pepper, putting it in the mix like I just put the garlic powder and the salt, will change the texture of your eggs. It makes for, for, for a much harder egg. So now if you want your omelet a little harder, go ahead and add a little black pepper in there. Okay, and we're gonna put just a little bit of this liquid in here.
Now we're going to beat this up. I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes and I'll see you at the stove. All right, we're at the stove. We're going to go in with some butter. Let that melt. Along with that butter, a little olive oil. Let that melt and then we'll be ready. Okay, once your butter has melted, make sure you coat the sides because sometimes you'll need that so it won't stick to the sides of your skillet. Then you go ahead and pour in your egg. Make sure it covers the entire base of your skillet. Now we're just going to let this cook until the bottom starts to set. Once it starts to set, we'll add in our cheese and we'll be back. Okay, once the edges start to set, you can see solid around the edges. That's when you want to go in with your cheese. You want to put it on just one half, just one half of the omelet. Letting it set keeps the cheese from going through to the bottom. It holds it on the inside because your egg has cooked some on that bottom side. So I am just going in right now with some of my mozzarella. Now I'm going in with some of my Gruyere and Swiss. And we're going in with some of our cheddar. This is going to be amazing. Oh my goodness. Now we're going to continue to let this cook like this, but we're putting a top on it. Most of our egg has set. It's still loose on the inside. We're going to give that a chance to cook, but now you want to fold it over. It lifts up easy because of that butter and olive oil that we had in there. Okay, now we want to go in and add the rest of our cheese on top here. Nice and creamy. And then I like to also have mine with a little salsa. So I'll be putting that on top of it after we get it all made. Go in with your cheddar cheese. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Also, guys, I'm going to have a link at the end of the, the video. It goes to my website, cookingatpamsplace.com. If you want to receive free exclusive recipes as well as not early notification of when I drop a video, go over there and sign up with your email. Don't forget to confirm your email subscription and you'll be added to the list. Okay, we're going to cover this back up and we'll be back. Okay, we are all done. Doesn't this look amazing? Oh my goodness. I'm going to get it out of this skillet. And we are going to head over and I'm going to show you how I'm going to plate it up with my salsa. Oh, look at that cheese. The cheese has run all over the place and it is delicious. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm. So you guys can see it come out of this skillet. Oh, my goodness. Amazingly delicious. Mm -mm. All right, guys, come on over. Okay, guys, doesn't this look amazing? Look at how cheesy it is. The eggs are nice and fluffy. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. And as I mentioned, I like to use a medium chunky salsa on my omelet. This is strictly optional. Uh, it doesn't go in it. It goes on top of it because I like the little heat and I just like the way it tastes. So I'm going to just put some right down the middle here. Right down the middle. Yes, oh my goodness. This is going to be amazing. Mm, mm, mm. Then we're going to go in and garnish it with the little parsley flakes as well. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and share it out. Let everybody you know what Pam at Cooking at Pam's Place is over here making up amazingly delicious meals made from scratch. Oh my goodness, if you all could smell this, it is absolutely amazingly delicious. Mm -mm, delicious. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Mm -mm.